Okay. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom. It is wonderful to be with you in person, and those of you who are watching via the live stream, we're thrilled that you've chosen to celebrate Shabbat with us here at Temple Shir Tikva with Jay-Z providing the music and myself, Rabbi Danny. Shabbat comes just at the right time each and every week. It's been one of those strange, shortened weeks, but still, it's important that we take time to pause to rest, to reflect. And at this time of year, especially when the patterns of time are a little bit different with some of the routines gone, to have this break every seventh day, this opportunity to remember God's creation of the world, to pause, to reflect, to rest, to come together in community is such an important gift that we are presented with. And so in this beautiful space outside, with the sounds of nature in the background, we take a moment to take a neshima amuka, a deep breath to appreciate where we're at. And so we breathe in and we breathe out. Breathe in again and we breathe out as we enter into this space. And on Shabbat, one of the beautiful ideas is that we welcome guests into our midst and so the beginning of our Kabbalah Shabbat service begins with guests. The first guests being the Shabbat angels. And so on page 24, we have the words of Shalom Aleichem as we welcome the Shabbat angels to join us this week as we do each and every week. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi El Yom, Melech. Malachi Hamlachim, Akadosh, Akadosh Parfu. Malachem the Shalom, Malachi Hashalom, Malachi, Malachi El Yom, Mimelech, Malachi Hamlachim, Akadosh, Akadosh Parfu. Parfuni. Barhuni the Shalom, Malachi Hashalom, Malachi Hashalom, Malachi El Yom, Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh, Hakadosh Barhu. Sechem, Sechem the Shalom, Malachi Hashalom, Malachi, Malachi El Yom. Mimelech, Malachi Hashapim, Akadosh, Akadosh Barhu. As we turn back in our Sidurim to page two, we come now to the lighting of the Shabbat candles. 
which Susan and Amelia will join us up here to light the candles on behalf of our Temple Shittikva community. Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kitshanu V'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lechad Likner Lechad Likner Shel Shabbat such a blessing to have grandparents and grandchildren in our community sharing in the mitzvah of lighting the Shabbat candles for all of us. And so continuing that theme of welcoming guests into our midst, we welcome the Shabbat angels. We now turn to page 2021 as we prepare to welcome the Shabbat bride with the singing of L'Chad Odi. And we'll sing together that first, second, fifth, eighth, and ninth verses and when we get to that ninth verse, we'll rise together, facing towards the door to welcome the Shabbat bride. L'chad Odi begins on page 20. L'chad Odi l'ikrat kala B'nei Shabbat l'kabela L'chad Odi l'ikrat kala B'nei Shabbat l'kabela Shamor v'zachor b'dibur echad Yishmiyanu el ha'myuchad Adonai echad u'shmo echad L'shem ultiferet v'letila L'chad odi l'ikrat kala B'nei Shabbat nekabela L'chad odi l'ikrat kala B'nei Shabbat nekabela Likrat Shabbat lechu v'nelcha Ki hi mekor ha'bracha Merosh mikedem nesucha Sof ma'ase v'machshva techila Lecha dodi likrat kala B'nei Shabbat nekabela L'chad odi l'ikrat kala B'nei Shabbat nekabela L'chad odi l'ikrat kala B'nei Shabbat nekabela L'chad odi l'ikrat kala B'nei Shabbat nekabela Last five Hitore ri, hitore ri, ki va orech, kumi ori, uri, uri, shihir da beri, kibor Adonai, alayich nigla, lecha dodi li ikrat kala, nei shabbat neka abelas, Yamin usmol tifrotsi viet Adonai Taritsi al yadish Ben partsi ben ismecha ben agila Lecha dodi li katala Bnei Shabbat Oh, we shalom a teret balagam besimcha, uve 
Page 22, 11 lines down. Magad Luma Asechaya, Odam Kumach Shabbatim. Having welcomed the Shabbat bride, we take a moment to welcome one another. So turn, find someone in the space that you don't know, introduce yourselves, wish them a Shabbat Shalom, get to know each other. If you're at home, say, give a Shabbat Shalom greeting to the people you're in the space with. Maybe send a text to someone you wish you were with. We send Shabbat greetings to Saratoga Springs if they're watching there, if watching in London, Flagstaff, in all Arizona. Over. Flagstaff, Arizona. So all over the place, we know people are joining us. And so we're going to interrupt the conversations and ask people to please be seated. As we turn now to page 26 and continue with the Chatsi Kaddish. Yitgadal ve Yitgadash me Raba. Amen. Be Amadi Rachi Rute, be Amlich Machute. Be Chaye Chon of Yom Echon. Uchichade de Chobet Yisrael. Bagala, Bagala. Uvis man kariv imeru amen yehesh me raba mevorach leolam ulal me almaya yitbarach yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitbar v'yitromam v'yitnase v'yitadar v'yitalev v'yitalal shemei de kudusha brichu brichu leila min kol birchata v'shirata. Tush bechata v'nechemata damiran be'alma ve'yimeru. Amen. We turn to page 28. We rise in body or in spirit, facing towards the east for the Baruch Hu, our call to prayer. Ya la 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 
来来来来来，呀啦来来来，呀啦来来来，呀啦来来来。Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? Baruch Hu et Adonai, Hamevorah. Baruch Adonai, Hamevorah. If you'll please be seated. On page thirty, we read together. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons, and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Tzvaot is your name, ever-living God. May you reign continually over us into eternity. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on evening. Umavir yomu mevi laila, umavdil ben yomu ven laila, Adonai tzvaot shemo el chai v'kayam, tamid yom lochalenu leolam vaed, baruch atah Adonai, hamari varavim. On page 32. Ahavat olam beit Yisrael amcha ahavta. Torah umitzvot chukimu mishpatim. Otanu limadata. Alkein Adonai Eloheinu b'shochbeinu. Uvkumeinu nasiach b'chukecha. Benismach b'divrei Toratecha uvmitzvotecha leolam va'ed. Ki hem chayenu v'orach yameinu. Uvahem negei yomam v'layla. V'avtcha al tasir mimenu leolamim. Baruch ata Adonai. O Hevamo Yisrael. As we turn to page 34, the Shema, we translate it here as hear, Shema, but it's listening, it's pay attention, it's all of those things wrapped into just three short letters. And when we're in this kind of space outside, when we cover our eyes, as is the tradition, we heighten our other senses. And I always think when we get to say this prayer outdoors, it's that additional opportunity to really listen for the still, small voice of God, whatever it might be, wherever it might come, in whatever nature surrounds us. And so as we cover our eyes for the Shema, we'll first take a moment just to listen to the sounds around us before Jay-Z leads us in this prayer. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruchem kevod malchuto leolam vaed. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha v'chol nafshecha v'v'chol meodecha v'hayu hadvarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavcha hayom alivavcha v'shinan tam levanecha 
Vidibarta bam, Veshivtecha bevetecha, Uvlechtecha baderech, Ushochbecha ukumecha, Ukshartam leot al yadecha, Vehayula totafot bene necha, Uchtavtam. Al mezuzot betecha uvisharecha leman tiskeru vasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kedoshim leloechem ani Adonai eloechem asher hotzeti etchem meretz mitzrayim lehiot lachem lelohim. Ani Adonai Eloechem, Adonai Eloechem Emet. As we turn to page 40 in our Siddurim, <clears throat> of all the moments throughout Jewish history, the moment that we remember and recall twice a day is the crossing of the sea. Twice a day we sing these words of Micha Mocha, which our ancestors did once they'd crossed over. And in many ways, I think it's a reminder of the centrality of that narrative at the heart of Judaism. We were slaves. We found that way to escape to freedom. And we reached over the sea towards the promised land. In many ways, that's the heart of the Jewish story, constantly journeying towards the promised land, not, in my opinion, as a specific physical destination, but rather as an aspiration an idea of what the world could be like, of the way that we could treat one another, of the society that we could build together. That's the promised land that we're constantly, eternally journeying towards. And so as we sing these words, perhaps it's a reminder that we need to celebrate the achievements on the path of that journey, knowing that the journey remains incomplete. We don't sing a song from our ancestors arriving in the promised land, we sing a song from them crossing the sea to begin the journey to the promised land. And so hopefully as we join with Jay-Z in singing the words of Micha Mocha, we'll rejuvenate ourselves, reinvigorate ourselves, and give ourselves the strength that each one of us needs to continue together on the journey to the promised land. Micha Mocha on page 40. Micha mocha ba elim Adonai, Micha mocha nedar ba kodesh, Micha mocha ba elim Adonai, Micha mocha nedar ba kodesh, Nora tehilot. Oh, say, oh, say, Pele, no, rate, hilot. Oh, say, oh, say, Pele, who is, who is like you, who, who is like you, Adonai, who is like you, Adonai. Moses and the children crossed the sea. They sang to you with songs of joy. Who is like you, Adonai? Micha mocha ba elim Adonai. Micha mocha nedar ba kodesh. Nora tehilot. Oh, say, oh, say, fella, who is like you? Adonai, who is like you? Micha mocha. Hashkivenu, our prayer for the evening on page 42. Ashki venu Adonai Eloheinu le shalom. The 
Amidenu Shomrenu Lechai Ashki Venu Ashki Venu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Hamidenu Shomrenu Spread the shelter of your peace over us. Guide us in wisdom, compassion, and trust. Ashki venu Adonai, Eloheinu lishalom, Hamidenu shomrenu Save us, save us for the sake of your name. Shield us from hatred, sorrow, and pain. Hashki venu Adonai, Eloheinu l'shalom. Amidenu shomrenu. We turn to page 46. We rise in body or in spirit for the Amida, our standing prayer. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufia gita hilatecha. Adonai, open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avotenu, Vimotenu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah. Ha el hagadol hagibor vehanora el el yon gomel chasadim tovim vekone hakol vezocher chas te avot vim aot ume vigula liv nev nehem leman shemo biachava melech ozer umoshiah umagen baruch ata adonai magen Abraham vezrat Sarah. Atagi bor le olam adonai, michaye metim ata, rab le hoshia, morid hatal. Michal kel chayim be chesed, michaye metim be rachamim rabim. So mech no flim verofe holim, umatir asurim, umikaye memunato, li shene afar. Micha mocha bar gevurot, umi do melach, melech me mit, umecha ye, umats miach yeshua, venemar atal chechayot metim, baruch ata adonai, mecha ye ha metim, ata kadosh vishim ha kadosh, ukdoshim becho yom yehalucha sela, baruch ata adonai, we continue silently now with our own private Amida using the words of our hearts or the words of the Siddur through until page 62. Please be seated at the conclusion of your prayers. Thank you. 
Normally you might hear this on during the Saturday morning service, part of the Saturday morning liturgy. A little special tonight, and Rabbi Danny will explain why. This is Matovu. You can find it on page 326. Matovu, oh halecha Yaakov, oh halecha Yaakov, mishkenotecha Yisrael. Ma tovu, O Halecha Yaakov, O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael. Ma ani berov chastecha, Avo vetecha Eshtacha ve'elchal kodshecha Ve'yiratecha Ma tovu, ma tovu Ohalecha Yaakov O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael. Ma Tovu, O Halecha Yaakov, O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael. Bahani. Tefilati lecha Adonai et ratzon Elohim beruch astecha Aneni bemet yishecha Matovu O Halecha Yaakov, O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael. Ma Tovu, O Halecha Yaakov, O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael. As we turn now to page 253 in our Sidorim, we know that while Shabbat is a day of joy and celebration, there are those amongst us who are suffering, those in need of healing of the mind, body, soul, or spirit. And so we take a moment now to offer a Misha Berach prayer for healing. This Shabbat we pray for healing for Abba Noach Ben Yehudit, Elisa Dorfman, Avivia Sigalit Bat Devora, Barb Scaglioni, Barbara Lanzett, Barbara Ziman, Bernice Slater, David Feldman, Dee Lurie, Diane McCaslin, Dina Lutin, Devorah Batbunye, Eleanor Lustig, Emma Held, Ethan Kadish, Eva Jacob, Gemma Rose Licoletti, Georgia <coughs> Elizabeth Hummel, Golda Bat Udi, Harav Nechama Bat Yaakov of Ernice, James Nicoletti, Jeremy Pivor, Jerry Rosenstein, Jim Solomon, Joan Friedman Bat Cynthia, Joyce Pastor, Julian Arce, Kelly Lane, Leah Bat Fagela, Lily Stander, Lisa Shapiro, Lynn Bauer, Mark Lampert, Mayor Abba ben Ruven, Michael Kay, Moshe Yoel ben Esther Avraham, Mutal Lieb, Nachum ben Razel, Nechama bat Trainer Razel, Noah Ayalmi Beit Yaakov Vesara, Pam Ross, Pazia bat Leah, Pinchas Aaron ben Shalom Mordechai Vesara Leah, Richard Kirstein, Robert Friedman, Romilda Skiera, Ron Abramson, Sam Goldenberg, Sarah Fager bat Malka, Sarit Liat bat Panina, Sarah, Saul Monvas, Stanley Sackowitz, Stephen Rose, Susan Hoyer, Susan Scheller, Tara Sagel, Theodore Merkin, Tyson Botinus, Wendy Gulley, Yaakov Yosef Ben Avram, John Newmeyer, Yosef Ben Gittel, Catherine Giles, Jody Sandler, Lev Avram Ben Sara, Mary Beth Retger, Rena Batshena, Lillian Shaw, Anne Jacobs, and Sylvia Wolfson. 
there are other names you're thinking of, please share them now as I look around the room. Uh, Stephen Branfman, Joel Leutherstein. Jacob Rosen. So we join together with the prayer for healing on page 253. <laughs> May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Mi sheberach imoteinu Mikor habracha lehavoteinu. Bless those in need of healing with refua shlema. The renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. There's a whole generation of people out there who think that the original talking donkey is in the movie Shrek. But actually, the Torah, several thousand years earlier, gave us a story of a talking donkey, which is this week's Torah portion and the reason that we're singing Matovu. But we'll come to that in a moment. Just one word for those of you who are following the Torah portion calendar you'll be aware that the diaspora calendar and the Israeli calendar have unsynced since Pesach. And so here at Temple Shir Tikva, we follow the Israeli calendar because we do seven days of Passover. So we're at Balak. Other synagogues might be one behind us, but we're always ahead of the curve here at Shir Tikva anyway. And so they're just playing catch up. But so as part of this week's Torah portion, Balak, we get that beautiful line, Matovu o'alecha Yaakov, mishkenotecha Yisrael. How good are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. It is a beautiful line of our liturgy. When you think about the symbolism, the progression from an oil to a mishkan, a tent to a dwelling place, from Jacob, Yaakov, to Yisrael, to Israel, and Matovu, how good are they? The question or the challenge or the expectation. So much in those few words. And yet... When we go back to the Torah and the original source, it wasn't supposed to be a blessing. It wasn't supposed to be a line of liturgy. The actual aim at that moment was to curse the Israelites. And yet here we are, several thousand years later, singing this line from the Torah, a curse that we've turned into a prayer. And it's such an instructive moment what we get in this week's Torah portion of Balak, it's named for the king of the Moabites, Balak, who is fearful of the Israelites who are approaching. And so in those days, you have warfare with the armies facing one another, and you have curses as your other strategy, where you bring in the religious man or woman to utter a curse that supposedly will affect the other people. And we read that Bilam is one of these people known for his ability in the field of curses. He's a cursor supreme, if you will. And so Balak sends emissaries to Bilam and says, please come, there's this people coming, I'm scared, I'm worried. Come and curse them for me. And Bilam goes and asks Adonai. That's what it says in the text. So he has a relationship with God and says, can I go curse these people? I've been requested. And God responds, no. And so Bilam conveys that message to the messengers of Balak and they take it back to the king. And Balak says, go back, offer more. 
And so the messengers come back to Bilam and say, can, can you come and curse the Israelites? We'll make you rich if you come and curse them. And so Bilam goes and asks God again. Maybe this time he'll get a different answer. And God says this time, because clearly no didn't work, you can go, but you can only say whatever I let you say. Bilam thinks, good, I'm in. And says to the messengers that he will go with them and go journey back to Balak to curse the people. We read that he mounts his donkey and starts on the journey. The donkey stops because the donkey can see that there is an angel of God blocking the path with a sword outstretched, ready to kill Bilam. And Bilam beats the donkey and says, why won't you move? What's going on? Move and tries to get the donkey to move. And eventually the mouth of the donkey opens and the donkey says, haven't I always been a good donkey to you? Haven't I always done what you needed? I needed to stop now. And the funny thing is, is Bilam doesn't seem at all to be surprised that his donkey's suddenly talking. But nevertheless, we get our talking donkey and Bilam goes on his journey and gets to Balak to curse the people. But when he gets up to the mountaintop, looking down on the Israelites to offer curses, God only allows blessings to be recited. And so this man standing up there, intending a curse, intending destruction, intending negative consequences to the people below, ends up blessing them. Balak's not too happy about those events, as one can imagine. But I think there's something really interesting for us as we look at this section of our Torah and this week's Torah portion. We can take a lot of lessons from the episode that we read. The first one in the Torah context, and still to this day, is a reminder of the power of words. The first step that Balak takes in trying to defeat the Israelites is to get someone to speak curses. In our world, I think we've sometimes forgotten how powerful our words can be and how destructive words can be and how words can truly end up being a curse. And so there is a lesson about the words that we use and maybe seeking to share our words for blessing, not for curse. Then there's also a lesson, I think, about the answers that we're seeking when we ask questions. Bilam knew the answer he wanted. The money on the table was such that he wanted to go and curse the Israelites. God said no. God said, you can only say the words that I'll let you. And then God even sent an angel and a talking donkey to stop him. And he ignored all of those answers. And sometimes I think it's important for us to remember that it's not about the answers we want. Sometimes it's about the answers we need and trusting those people around us and maybe even sometimes those signs that we get about what we should or shouldn't be doing. It's easy to find the right person to ask the question to to get the answer that you want. But often the answer that you want isn't the one you need and isn't the one that's going to help. And then there's that lesson that you never know where blessings are going to come from. Can you imagine if Balak and Bilam knew that now, 2,500, 3,000 years later, we're sitting here in a place called Wayland that they'd never even imagine singing those words that were meant to be a curse as part of our service, as part of our liturgy, as part of our praise of God as the descendants of the Israelites. Right now, as we've talked about, we are living through challenging times. And when we look around our society and our world, it's easy to find the curses that are out there, the negatives, those things that are holding us back. And it's harder to find the blessings, the positives, those things that can take us forward. But this week's Torah portion comes as a reminder that we always need to look for those blessings and we always need to see those ways that we can turn a negative into a positive. And so I've been thinking a bit about what are some of the negatives that I want to shift this Shabbat. So when I think about the challenges that we're facing as a society, I am struck and awed 
by the generation of our youth who are being activated and invigorated to fight for rights, to fight for justice, to fight for others in a way that we didn't have to. They're taking on this fight for our rights that in some ways rights that we took for granted that we thought maybe we'd finished fighting for. And our youth inspire me. And the motivation that they've got, maybe that's a positive out of this negative because they're going to be the ones 10, 20, 30 years from now who are leading us. And I'm excited for where they're going to take us as a society, as a community, as a world. Then I think in the face of many of the challenges that we're facing, we're seeing interesting alliances and partnerships that are formed between groups who might not have come together previously to face the challenges that we share. We find that common challenge out there and suddenly a stranger becomes a friend, becomes an ally in the face of this adversity. Groups who sometimes focused on their differences can come together in defense of what's right, what's important. Think about the way that we, together with our friends at the Islamic Center of Boston or the Greater Framingham Community Church, have stood up against nationalism, the white supremacists, and the hate that we witness in our society. They're bringing a lot of hate into this world, but they're also bringing a lot of us closer together in a way that I think can only be positive for the future. And then I think that often, out of moments of adversity and strife, there's progress for our world and society as we grow to understand what is important and what is truly worth fighting for. I wish that there was another way that society would make progress. I wish that it didn't always have to be that it's those dark moments that lead to the bright moments that follow. But we can think back to various points in our history as a country, as a Jewish people, as a world, moments of darkness, moments of fear and dread where we've thought the worst might be happening. And yet out of that has emerged new light new hope, and a brighter future. There are a lot of Balaks and Bilams out there at the moment in this world trying to curse, sow enmity and evil in this world. But our history and this week's Torah portion reminds us that we have overcome wickedness and evil before. We have emerged stronger from many, many negative situations. And we have found oh so many ways of turning curses into blessings, not just for us, but for the whole world. And so as we sit here, as we sang those words of Matovu, 2,500 years later, we've turned a curse into a continual blessing that maintains and will sustain us for many, many years to come. And today, I have the faith and the confidence that we'll be able to do it again. Shabbat Shalom. We turn back to our Siddurim to page 282. We rise in body or in spirit for the words of Alenu at the bottom of the page. <coughs> Alenu le shabeach la don ha kol la teit kedula li otze breshit shelo asanu kigoye haratzot velo samanu kmishpachot ha adama shelo sam chelkenu kahem vego ralenu kechol hamonam vanachnu korim umashchavim umodim lifne melech malche hamlachim. Hakadosh Baruch Hu, the Takein Olam b'Machu Shaddai, v'Nemar v'Haya Adonai l'Melech al Kol Haaretz b'Yom Hahu b'Yom Hahu Yie Adonai Echad u'Shemo u'Shemo u'Shemo.
As we turn to page 294 in our Sidorim, face in towards the community to offer each other support and comfort at this time, we never conclude our service without sacred memory, remembering our loved ones who are no longer with us. This Shabbat we remember the yard size of George Abrich, Rose Adelson, Murray Bernstein, Michael Brown, Henry Chazen, W. Phil Cohen, Saul Fagan, Francis Firstman, Janice Gangle, Harold Goldman, Charlotte Goose, Rhoda K. Carpe, Fay Leith, Philip Levine, Eric Metzger, Judith Morenberg, Marion Moskowitz, Barbara Newman, Gerald G. Rothstein, Moses Rosman, Bernard Rubin, Anna Schwartz, William Joseph Spiegel, Samuel Stein, Joseph Sternlight, and Joseph Stiller. And during the month of Shloshim, we remember Jack Price, the father of Michael Price, Robert Jacobs, the father of Karen Dines, and Richard Mechanic, the son of Scott Mechanic. If there are other names that you're remembering, please share them now as I look around the room. For those we name out loud and for those we name in our hearts, we say together, Yitkadal v'yitkadash shamei rabah. Amen. Be'alma divrach yurutei v'yamlich machutei. B'chayachon v'yomechon v'chayei d'chol b'yit Yisrael. B'galau v'zman kariv v'imru. Amen. Yehei shmei rabah mavorach l'alam al mei al maya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'a v'yitramam v'yitnaseh. V'yitada v'yitalei v'yitalal shmei d'kudsha b'richu. Le'ela min kol b'yirchata v'shirata. Tush b'chata v'nechemata. Dam Iran ba Alma ve Imru, Amen. Yehi Shlama Rabba min Shamaya, Vachayim Alenu ve Al Kol Yisrael, ve Imru, Amen. O se shalom bim Ramav, hu ya se shalom, Alenu ve Al Kol Yisrael, ve Imru, Amen. Amen. Zichronam Nivracha, may their memories always be for a blessing, and let us say, Amen. So as we prepare to make Kiddush, we can turn back in our Sidrim to page five. There are if someone would like to volunteer to pass out the, the Kiddush cups, the, 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 the grape juice and the wine, um, I'll pass this to Jay-Z. Thank you, Jay-Z, for your beautiful music. This evening, we say thank you to John Legg for all of the tech support so that we can be heard and seen. Just as a couple of words about what's coming up, um, we're going to be staying outside for Friday night services, weather permitting during the summer. So please do join us under the canopy. It really is beautiful out here um, to, to join us for services. Um, in terms of what's going on at Shir Tikva, on the weekend of the Friday night of July 22nd, we have a barbecue after services and a new member blessing as part of our Friday night service. And then on the 29th of July, we have our blessing for our Pan Mass Challenge riders. It's become an annual uh, event in the summer where we bless all of the cyclists who are taking part in the PMC, including... Jay-Z, I think, taking part in the P PMC. I as, am. As well, amongst others. So, uh, it's my high PMC. Uh, high PMC. Wow, 18, 18 PMC. So please do join us. And if you know people are taking part in the PMC, please invite them along. Anyone and everyone is welcome to join us for those services. Check the website for more Hello. details of other events that are taking place as we now join together with uh, <clears throat> Kiddush on page five. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotav V'ratzav Anu B'Shabbat Kocho B'yachabahu V'ratzon Inchilanu Zikaron L'maaseh B'Reishit Ki Hu Yom Techila L'mikra E'Kodesh Zecher L'Tziyat Mitzrayim Kivanu v'charta Yotanu kidashta Mikol ha'amim V'shabat kodshecha V'yahava uvratzon Inchaltanu Baruch ata Adonai Mekadesh ha'shabat Amen L'chaim L'chaim As we join together, Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, Amotzi Lechem in Haaretz. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. 
Ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la ya la ya la 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 ya la 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 Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone.